Oh yeah. All right. So um, we are in Trier and Trier lies in the southwest of Germany, close to the Luxembourgish border. In fact, it's like 20 minutes uh, by car to Luxembourg, to the border. And um, we are this, for that reason, also very close to France and Belgium, since Luxembourg is relatively small. Yeah, so Luxembourg itself is a very important administration center for the finance industry, but also for the EU. Trier is the oldest city in Germany. It was actually built and founded by the Romans. And uh, the Roman buildings in the city have UNESCO World Heritage status. The cathedral also actually dates back to Roman times and is the oldest church in um, Germany. It has among its treasures a relic, the holy tunic, which supposedly Jesus wore when he was crucified or before he was crucified. So Trier is also just as Osnabrück, a small city. It has about 110,000 inhabitants. That is, it's smaller than Osnabrück actually. Trier University is actually very old. It was originally founded in 1473. Then it was closed at the beginning of the 19th century and reopened in 1970. And we currently have approximately 11,000 students. So here you can see two pictures of Trier. On the right, you see the Roman city gate, the Porta Nigra. And on the left, you see part of our market square and the church at the, like in the middle, that is actually not the cathedral, but the cathedral would be to your left from here. So here you see Trier University. So it's a modern campus. You see our library, you see two of our recent students. These are Ahmed and Yi from Ethiopia and Taiwan respectively. And at the bottom, you see a picture of our campus. So our campus actually won several awards for landscaping. So actually very beautiful surroundings on the top of a hill. So the city is at the river and we at SV University, we are on top of the hill overlooking the city. So our program has been in operation in English since 2010. So, and it's a general economics master's program with an interdisciplinary outreach, which means that you can also take courses from political science, business administration, sociology, statistics, just to name a few examples. We have six different specializations. You may also call them majors, namely international political economy, international labor markets and innovation, international finance, European social security and health systems, econometrics and applied statistics, and finally a new specialization which we are going to offer starting in winter, environment and sustainability. So we also offer another master's program which is related, namely a master of arts in international economics and public policy. And that is a joint master program with the political science department. So for that, you would also need some background in political science. So as the standard German master program, our program also takes two years to complete. And you can spend one semester abroad if you wish to, you don't have to. We also have a double degree option. That means that we can issue two degrees, one from Trier and one from our partner universities. And uh, the language of instruction is English. At the beginning of your studies, you will have a prep course in math that takes one week. And then after that, the courses start. I will say more about that in a moment. And we have an academic mentoring program. That means that each student has a professor assigned for academic mentoring. So if you have problems or questions about the program, you can always approach that professor. So also standard for German programs is that they are decomposed into modules. So most modules take one semester to, to complete, some actually take two. Modules can have a weight of five or 10 credit points. In, in all, you need 120 credit points in order to complete your degree. Our master's thesis is worth 30 credit points. So it's somewhat more than in Osnabrück. And um, so we have three compulsory modules, namely advanced micro, advanced macro and econometrics. 
The master's thesis is worth 30 credit points, typically written in the fourth semester, and everything else of the 120 credit points are actually elective courses. So there you have to choose these courses when in your second and third semester. And similarly to Osnabrück, if you choose a certain amount of credit points from a certain specialization, you will actually get this written on your transcript. For example, suppose you take 30 credit points out of a specialization in international finance, then on your transcript and on your degree, it will say you have achieved a master of science in economics with a specialization or major in international finance. You don't need to choose a specialization. However, you can also just simply choose among the available courses of which we have a large variety. So once you have completed the three compulsory modules, macro, micro, and econometrics, and 60 credit points with or without a distinct specialization and have written your master's thesis, you will be awarded the degree Master of Science in Economics. So if you wish to do a double degree that is possible with two partner universities, namely one in Italy, that would be the University of Bergamo, and one in Poland, that would be the University of Warsaw. So how would that work? Well, the first year you would spend in Trier and earn 60 credit points there. After the first semester, you would apply for admission to the double master's degree. So we have five slots per partner university, and they're typically not all filled. So if you finish your 60 credit points in Trier, then typically you have the opportunity, if you want to, to go to either Bergamo or Warsaw and take courses there. The master's thesis is written under the supervision of a professor from Trier and one from the partner university. And after two years and having earned 120 credit points, you will be awarded two degrees, namely one from Trier, the Master of Science in Economics with a specialization European Economic Integration, and then either from Warsaw or from Bergamo, a second master degree, namely in Warsaw, Master in International Economics, and in Bergamo, Master in Economics and Data Analysis. Now, if you're interested in that, you should contact then me directly because I'm responsible for this uh, double master program. I also built it up myself. So here, this is Warsaw, probably known that this is the capital of Poland. That is really a big city, 1.7 million inhabitants. It's a dynamic and growing city right in the center of Europe. And of course, the cultural, economic and political center of Poland. Its old town is also UNESCO World Cultural Heritage. It was completely destroyed during World War II, but then rebuilt after the war. So it's also very beautiful. And the Department of Economics is ranked first in Poland in economics. So it's really a top university to attend. Bergamo, also a very beautiful city. You can see here the old city on the top of a hill. That is small. It's about the size of Trier, only a little bit bigger. 119,000 citizens. It's an important regional center of Lombardy, so in the north of Italy, only 50 kilometers away from Milan. It has its own airport close to the city, which is which it shares with Milan, but it's actually called Milan Bergamo, as far as I remember. So a wonderful medieval old town and also a very good university. It's ranked in the top half of the 39 Italian universities that are listed in the Times Higher Education Ranking. And of course, not all Italian universities are listed there. So the admission requirements, in order to get into our program, you need a grade of 2.7 or better in an economics bachelor's program. So I'm pretty sure most of you don't know this German grading system yet. So in Germany, the best grade is 1.0, the worst grade is 4.0, the worst passing grade that is. So 2.7, this grade is basically calculated according to a formula. You find information on that on our website so that you could, for example, transform your own grade to see whether it fits. Um, if you don't have an economics bachelor's degree, then actually the grade that you need to have is better. It would be grade 2.2. So that would be for 
bachelor's programs such as business administration, social sciences, and the like. So in this program, you should have had at least one third, yeah, so 60 credits, 60 ECTS in economics, math, and statistics. So we don't basically um, split that up into economics, math, and statistics, but rather we say 60 credits in economics and or math and or statistics. For proficiency in English, well, I mean, there are certain requirements, but too, we take different tests, for example, the TOEFL, but also other tests. All of that you can find here on our website. So Georgi can also share the slides with you later on, so where you can find all these things. So the application, does not go via UniAssist, but you have to apply directly in Trier. It's an online application. The application portal is at the moment open, so from May 1st to May 31st. And that is for the admission for the winter semester, meaning starting in October and also the following summer semester. Yeah, So the admission is for two semesters. If you get admitted now, you can choose to start this winter or you can start the next summer. And there's another application period which runs from December 15th to January 15th. So that's for non-EU nationals. For EU nationals, the summer application period is somewhat longer. As you can see, it ends on July 15th. Now, what materials do you need? Well, you need a university entrance qualification, which would be like a high school diploma. Then the master entrance qualification, that is typically your bachelor degree. There's a transcript of records with the overall GPA, of course. Then you need to pay an evaluation fee and you need to send a passport or ID card scan. Then for English language proficiency, you need to provide some proof, clear. A statement about previously attended universities, tabular CV, and if you come from China, Vietnam, or India, you need an APS certificate that, in fact, you need whenever you want to come from these countries and study in Germany. So the information for that you can also find on our website in English, of course. So what are the advantages? So we have relatively small class sizes and a large variety of course choices offering interdisciplinary qualifications. Yeah, I told you that our program has been in operation in English since 2010. So we have a lot of experience and also a lot of course choices available. So our master's program has several times ranked in the top group in the economics master programs in Germany. So last in the CHE ranking of 2020 for the overall study situation. We do not charge tuition. However, there's some kind of an administrative fee, which, however, provides benefits. So that's also typical for German universities. They don't charge tuition, but you have to pay some money in order to get like free bus pass and train pass and also like uh, cheaper meals at, at the university cafeteria. So each student has a professor as an academic mentor. And I already told you that we're very close to Luxembourg. And for that reason, also there are excellent job prospects. So many people actually do internships in Luxembourg and already find there their uh, future employer. But you can also do an internship in Brussels, for example. Brussels is not far away. You can do an internship in Frankfurt. So all these places are not far away from Trier. While Trier is close to the border, yeah, it is in the center of Europe and like main centers of European decision making are not far away. Same goes for Strasbourg, by the way. It's also close. So we prepare for successful doctoral study, uh, studies. Uh, so for example, I have three doctoral students currently and uh, all three of them come from abroad. They all went through our master's program. So one is from Russia, one is from Vietnam and one is from the Dominican Republic. Yeah, so doctoral students um, oftentimes come from our own master program and oftentimes are from abroad and not necessarily from an EU country. So then the optional study abroad I already mentioned, so that would be the Erasmus program that you can take part in, but also the double master program. So in fact, uh, the Department of Economics has been the first recipient of Trier University's internationalization prize 
And that was awarded because we are engaged in English language master's programs with our economics master, the main program, of course, but then I already mentioned the joint program with political science. We also have a statistics master and we participate in a data science master as well. So um, with administrative issues, we have a very nice international office that is very helpful both to students and to faculty. And we have our own um, foreign student advisor who is present here today. That is Arina Wisniewski. And uh, hello, so, everyone. Yeah. Hi, Arina. So and uh, housing is typically not a problem. I mean, finding housing as a foreign student in town, if you don't know German, is uh, not all that easy. But we have a lot of um, actually on campus affordable student housing. And typically, our foreign students actually find a room there. So once again, there is an administri administrative fee. It's not tuition. It's about 280 euros per semester, but it pays for the free bus and train tickets so that you can travel everywhere. And it also pays for the cheap university cafeteria meals so that you have this price reduction. And if you're interested in more information, you can look at our website for the master's program. And there you will find a lot of what I've said today, but also much more. And so we would be very happy if we could welcome you in Trier. These are also two of our recent students. So the girl is actually from Tunisia and the boy is one of our German master students. Yeah, that's Richie and Rina, do you remember? I, I certainly remember the girl, Tunisia. Do you remember her name? Yes, it's Yasmin. Yasmin, oh, okay, all right. Okay, so. Thank you very much for your attention and I would be happy to answer any further questions that you may have.